the Douglas Hopkins Perfume brand. Tell me about these products. Is this all of them? Yes, we have four. Okay. And <clears throat> I started the company uh, by accident, uh, <laughs> I guess you'd say, with this um, Louis the Fourteenth fragrance that How I. How can you start a company by accident? Well, um, when the wall went down. Um, the Berlin Wall. The Berlin Wall, when the communism started ending, I was very curious about was what was going on on the other side. And uh, I had a friend who was uh, a chemist uh, in his uh, 70s, actually, a genius chemist in the fragrance field. And of course, as a fashion photographer, I'd been um, shooting for perfume companies and oh, right. as well. So we uh, set up uh, uh, to see, to look at some uh, Russian cooperative factories. But what actually happened was uh, after seeing all these factories and having a lot of possibilities, uh, George went back to the U.S. and I had one extra Sunday afternoon in Krakow, Poland. And somebody said, oh, there's this little factory out in the edge of town. Why don't you take a cab and go out? And uh, so I did. When I walked in, the place smelled great. It had this just this very fresh citrus odor. And I was not, I had no perfume ability. I just knew that it smelled good, you know. And um, it turned out to be this Prostara, and that's the only product they made. And they had been making it for 50 years. What is it about perfume? There are, so, there are ones that smell amazing. And there are ones that are so banal, so run of the mill, and, and kind of smell like everybody else. Typically, a fragrance has, uh, I mean, some have 200 things in them, but typically, and the genius of some of them is that they only have a few. Um, but typically it's around 10 to 20, 25 oils in them. And several are not for smelling, they're in there for uh, sort of balancing things out and stuff. And you know, we're just drinking bergamot tea. I was amazed to learn that I'm drinking bergamot oil, which is a major perfuming ingredient. It was just sort of funny that, uh, that, that it's also edible, you know. So, you know. <laughs> There are about 4,000 oils in, in the repertoire, and it's so interesting because when you think of the uh, mathematical combinations, uh, of course they all don't combine with each other, but it's the first art of perfuming is selecting out of those 4,000. But the second art of it is the layering, the oxidation rate how quickly it burns off. And that's how in sophisticated, what are called European fragrances or fine fragrances, you're very layered. So what do you have for me to smell? This is actually what glass stoppers are great for. I just put a bit on, if I got enough there, yeah. Now, wave your hand a little bit, and that uh, evaporates the uh, alcohol. Okay. And um, my way of uh, thinking about uh, smelling um, is you don't sniff because you're sort of driving it back into your, into the, in, back into your throat. You do a long, slow inhale, but while you're doing that, you you just really go into the scent, knowing that there's 15 or 20 different things in there. So you want to just try to put a you're finger. Not make you name them all, are you? Well, I couldn't name them myself. I mean, I did this a few years ago. And, so can I have a go? Yeah, go ahead. Just just draw it in and light this on draw and see. Or you might not have a scent impression. You might have a memory. Fragrance goes into the memory in amazing ways. I've had so many people come up to me and say, oh my God, my uncle wore that, this and that. It smells like, it reminds me of marzipan. You know, almond paste yes. with sugar? Yes, yep. You know that really lovely... Yep. Um, you're, you're on one of the major in marzipan France. ingredients in there. Yeah. That's the your... Fête in France, they make a galette de roi, which is a puff pastry and, and marzipan yeah. tart, effectively, and that's what it reminds me of. But it's delicious, so that's a great thing to be... Well, with. yes, you hit the nail on the head. The, the major ingredient of Osa is vanilla. Well, Doug, thank you for coming all this way up to the Upper East Side. Um, you know, I feel like I've definitely learned and smelt something new today. Well, thanks. It's great to be appreciated.